what's up everybody and welcome to my youtube channel so this is a brief video uh, a project overview uh, so in uh, in this video we are going to talk about the how we can build a multiplayer plugin like photon or like uh, google play services using the node.js and a uh, client in unity c sharp okay so uh, the server side is going to be the node.js and the client is going to be in unity c sharp so uh, let me first uh, run the project and i tell you what it can do then we, we are going to deep down into functionalities and other technical stuff so i'm going to uh, run this server here so index.js okay so our server is started and it is listening to the port 8080 okay now i have i already have a build windows build which i'm going to uh, run so this is our first client okay so uh, when the client starts it is going to ask the player to enter his name so let's say player one so here you can see this is the player id that is going to be assigned by server this is the player name this is the room id the room the player has joined because the room has uh, the player has not joined any room so it is zero and this is the master client so uh, basically master client is you know uh, if we have four players in the room one of them will be a master client because there are some uh, game specific things that uh, need to be done on the uh, master client okay but if, if you if you have any idea about uh, multiplayer you, you should know this okay so let's uh, join the lobby okay so now we have we are inside the lobby now you can see that the id is one and this id is assigned by server so when we clicked on the join lobby uh, the client sent a message to server that this is a new player and he wants to join so what the server did server assigned an id and stored that player in in his in in the uh, database uh, because we don't have a database right now so this is just going to store it in in a map okay and the server assigned a new id and sent back the response to client that you have an id of one okay now you can see that uh, the room id is zero because we have not joined any room and master client status is pending so if it is the first player to join a room then he will be the master client okay if it is the second third or fourth then the master client status will be false so i'm going to click on the uh, join random room and you will see here the server will do some processing so when i click join random room so the client is just going to send a message to the server that the player one wants to join a room so because this is the first client and there are not the room list was empty there were no rooms available so what the server is going to do if if there are no rooms available the server is going to create a new room as you can see new room created with the id of one so that's why we have this room id of one and uh, each room has a list of current players so how many players are there in that room so uh, right now we just have one player and uh, room joined success so the server created a room and uh, put that player inside the current players of the room okay and the master client status is true so this is the first client okay let's run another build and this is going to be the second client second player okay so uh, let's uh, name it player 2 join the lobby you will see new player id 2 and uh, yeah so we are going to join the random room now because there were the room 1 was already there and it can take like four players so what the server did it 
if you see right here it joined the existing room one and updated the current player so now the room with the id one has two players player one and player two and room joined success now let's uh, put see how these two clients will communicate with each other uh, so basically we have uh, uh, three basic uh, three ways to send a message uh, let me tell you right here so as you can see that the first one is send message to all so what is going to happen one of the client can send a message to the server and the client will send the information uh, like uh, what is the message and to whom he wants to send the message so if the client says that this is the message and I want to send it to all this is going to send a request to the server the server is then going to send that message to all of the player including the client who is sending the request so that is send message to all now if we uh, go right here so if we click on the send message to all if we put the focus now you can see that player one has sent a message so, so this is the message panel all the messages will be displayed right here and it contains this is the ID of the player who sent the message this is the name of the player who sent the message and this is the message string to all now player one sent the message to all the players who are currently in this room in the room one because we have two players so both of the players received that message okay the second one is send message to others so what this is going to do is the client is going to send a message to the server and it is going to tell the server that this is the message i want you to send this message to each and every player that is currently joined inside the room except himself so don't send the same message back to that client just send it to others okay so let's see that in action so uh, let's say player one wants to send message to others so i clicked on it and if we focus this now you can see that the player two received a message from player one to others so this is the message that we sent and right here because this is sent to others except that player so that's why we are not seeing that message right here okay and uh, the third one is send message to a target player so basically for this we should have so each of the client should have a list of all the connected players and we have to have a web socket reference or we can just uh, like uh, send a message so what this is going to do is this client is going to send a message to the server and it is going to tell the server that this is the message and i want to send this message to a specific client so that's why it's going to skip all the other clients and only send the message to the target client let's see that in action so if i click uh, in right here send to target you can see that we received a player list from the server so the server is going to send a player list all of the connected players and we have a send button so let's say we want to send the message to player 2 so if I click on send and right here you can see that we received a message from player 1 and the message string was target okay now we can do the right same thing so from player 2 we can send the message to player 1 and if we focus right here you can see that we received a message from player 2 uh, and the message string was target so uh, basically this uh, the communication is very fast and uh, uh, we are just using the raw web sockets we are not using the any socket io library because I don't have uh, much uh, technical information or knowledge about that uh, this is uh, my first time 
implementing uh, working with Node.js and sockets and all that but it seems that uh, in, in, in terms of performance web sockets using raw web sockets have an edge in terms of performance over socket.io uh, because uh, socket.io is just a library that that provides an uh, abstraction layer and it provides some uh, APIs and some function calls to make uh, your uh, life easier basically uh, but uh, and uh, the, this plugin that I have uh, created is, is uh, inspired from this uh, FM web sockets uh, which is uh, a paid asset and if you see right here so they have implemented like these four methods send to all send to others send to server and send to other so basically uh, uh, it is uh, very very simple and very easy to learn you just have to uh, use these four function calls and you can build a multiplayer game okay now uh, whenever so remember this master client so if during the game master client left the game what the server is going to do is it is going to choose the uh, another player from the uh, list of current players and make that player a master client okay so if we uh, if you see right here if we leave the if we exit the master client you will see that player one with the id of room one left this is the master client status and what the server is going to do it is going to remove that player from the uh, map from from the server side and now what this is going to do is it is going to uh, make player two the master client okay and uh, yeah so uh, there are a few uh, technical things uh, that uh, if you want to start right now but i will be creating some detailed videos but basically uh, for the client side you need uh, for the web sockets to work with unity you need uh, one plugin which is websocket sharp okay websocket sharp net standard 101 okay so here is the plugin you can uh, download it from uh, nougat nougat packages uh, i think there are some videos uh, explaining how you can download this and uh, another thing that you need is newton soft json so basically this is just a, a library to uh, pass the json data because if we see right here in in c sharp So here is how we are sending the data. So basically, whenever the client sends any message to the server, it creates a new object like that. And it, the object has two properties, action. So what this message is about so that we can handle it properly on the server side. So for example, this is uh, the action is sent to all. So now on the server side we will know that whenever we receive some data and the action is sent to all we know that this message should be sent to each and every client and the payload is the actual message that we want to send so for example we want to send the player id the room id in which this message should be broadcast player name the player who sent the message and what is the message that is message to send then we are just going to serialize it so this json convert this function is from newton soft json because if you don't use this then you will have a very big problem and you will have to create a lot of classes to serialize the object and to send so that will be a very hectic job so we just convert it into the serialize and we are going to send that to the server 
and uh, let's see a bit about the server side so we are not as you can see that we are not using any database or nothing like that we are just using the raw web sockets that is the ws package or module from the node.js and uh, i will be creating uh, detailed videos and hope you like this video and i will see you in the next video